Hi guys, it's Sandy. I want to show you how to make hand sanitizer. Right now the store shelves are empty and we absolutely need to make sure that we're protecting ourselves and our family when we're out and about. Hand washing is by far the best with soap and water, but you can also make your own hand sanitizer. You're just going to need alcohol, at least a 91 to 99% solution, and aloe vera gel or you could use a vegetable glycerin if you have that at home but this you just find where you buy your suntan lotions in the grocery store or the supermarkets and then optional is um, essential oils but that's just optional so it actually only takes two ingredients to kill off any viruses the coronavirus anything like that right now so let me show you how to do this it's so simple to make the first thing you're going to need is a 91 or 99% alcohol. I found a 91% at our Walmart. You need two thirds cups of alcohol. According to the Center for Disease Control, you need 60 to 70% of your hand sanitizer needs to be a strong alcohol and that is what is in this recipe. You'll also need one third cup of aloe vera or a vegetable glycerin. You need this because alcohol is very drying on its own. You can use alcohol on its own, but it's gonna really dry out your hands and you don't want that because if you have dry cracked hands, then you're more susceptible to getting more germs into your skin and into your body. So you will want to use a moisturizer after using hand sanitizer and after washing our hands multiple times. Now you can see that I just start stirring this up and stir it together until it becomes like a cloudy mixture. Now essential oils are optional. This is lemon, just put in two to three drops. It helps give a different smell to it, a, a more pleasing smell. Um, but some people are allergic to oils, so you don't have to use oils. Now these are just travel size containers that you get in the travel department, <laughs> in the stores. Um, I already had the, these at home, so it's what I'm using. Now I'm going to show you how I did this. I took the mixture and I started pouring it in. This bottle is the kind you just pour out into your hands, and the other one is a spray bottle. I kept this part of the video in here because if this happens to you, I wanted to know, I wanted you to know what to do. So I start pouring into the spray bottle and I notice that there's a lot of aloe vera sitting on the bottom still and it's really thick. So I pour back in the other bottle so that I can get the aloe vera mixed throughout. But I noticed that it's going to take a lot more mixing than what I realized. So I pour it all into a container so that I can mix it easier. This is one I was going to use for leftovers anyway. So I just put on the lid and then just start vigorously shaking and just get it really mixed up. The spoon was not working. Maybe you want to use a whisk. That could get it mixed up really good too because you want a nice mixture. You don't want lumps of aloe vera in your hand sanitizer. So now, once again, I will pour the mixture into the bottle that I'm going to pour out and then I'm going to pour the mixture into the spray bottle. According to the CDC, it's really important to keep our hands clean because the viruses don't actually go through our skin, but it's whenever it's on our skin and then we put our hands up around our face. That's the same with the flu, the colds, coronavirus, whatever. So the spray bottle, you can just easily spray onto your hands, whether you're at work or you're at the grocery or the supermarket getting essentials that you need, you can just easily spray, clean and go. Or you can also use the pour kind. Just shake both of them up good so that you have a good mixture. Pour it out into your hands. Just know this is not like the gel kind that you buy in the stores. This is more of a liquid form, but it works. It is killing the germs. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Now you have hand sanitizer to keep you and your family safe when you're out and about. You saw it only takes a few ingredients and a few seconds to make. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button below. It really helps me out. I have a lot more to come. Stay safe out there and I will see you next time.